bag here and today we are doing hoof bag electronic amplifier repairs and this particular lovely example is a bird talisman 6 watt amplifier anyway um, it's often described um, as bird's answer to the um, amplifiers like the Selma Little Giant, but there are some important differences. Obviously that's unacceptable. In the Little Giant we've got EZ80 rectifier, EL84 output valve, and normally it, with, with the um, Selma Little Giant it's an ECC83, but in the Selma Talisman they've chosen to use an EF86. This is a bird amplifier, bird talisman amp. Um, now, another interesting point, according to the circuit diagram, kindly um, uh, put up by another website, who will get some credit in a short while. Also appears to be largely a direct coupled circuit. Now, something I've noticed is that when you switch the power switch on, it takes some time before this light comes up. So my assumption is it's running off of the HT supply okay. and it, um, it basically tells you the amplifier is producing okay. enough HT to start working. Yeah, the valves are nice and toasty. Lovely. Or tubes. Toasty valves. Tubes, tubes, tubes yeah, valves. Yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, as I said, Rectify EZ80. EL84, EF86. Now, if we actually prod this meter round side here, um, just there, like that, that's 30, 34 volts. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that can't be correct. Um, the voltage you should read between ground and cathode will be um, around about seven or eight volts. Okay, now we go over to the circuit diagram. An EL84 does need to have seven, between a seven and eight volt difference between its control grid and cathode. In this particular dis, uh, circuit diagram, um, kindly put up by Vintage Hofner, Bird Tasman Guitar Amplifier Schematic, which is what we want, in order to enable a direct coupling. Um, they've had to alter the voltages around quite a lot. Now, um, normally you'd get a capacitor here and then there'd be a, a resistor to hold that to ground so that the um, grid G3, G1 is at ground potential. Now, um, obviously they've had to raise the voltage on the cathode in order that um, the control grid can be at the correct voltage. So um, it would seem that if you've got, let's say, um, what is it, 20, how many volts was, did we get on there? 30, around about 37 volts, 32 volts. So the um, control grid, G1, would have to be, would have to be 25 volts. Hmm, so of course uh, you wouldn't really have an EF86 working at 25 volts, so not really that great a design. I wouldn't have done it that way anyway, but um, there you are, they obviously had their reasons. And I think if you've got a capacitor there, um, the EF86 and EL84 is not normally providing enough gain for an electric guitar. And yes, it is a guitar amplifier, so that is why they've done the direct coupling in the way that they have. That's it for the moment.